playing the band Born Lion. Uh, in relation to the question, you know, what uh, led to, you know, the, the lyrical content of our new song, Sunshine, um, you know, being a pretty grim topic of, of suicide, um, you know, it was just something that I'd, I'd been I was sort of thinking about and I think that was prompted by, um, you know, the deaths of people like Chris Cornell and Keith Flint and kind of see those people as being you know, really super confident individuals and and for that to, to happen was kind of quite a shock to me and I don't know, it just kind of intrigued me that, that whole thought process that must go on uh, for, for that to, to go down and, and I just find it sort of, I guess, intriguing. Yeah, I had sort of the chords and stuff worked out for the song and I don't know, I guess um, it sort of led to the idea of, you know, maybe I could write the lyrics as a bit of like a suicide note um, and it's from the perspective of sort of a, a character that isn't necessarily all, you know, that upset with his decision um, to carry out the act. He's sort of, you know, he's had a he's had a fulfilling life, He's he's done a lot of good stuff but he's just ready, ready to go. And um, it's sort of just acknowledging that. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a person that's kind of fine with that decision. So, um, and then, you know, that coupled with the sort of the, the vibe of the music, which is, you know, quite upbeat. I thought it just made for an interesting sort of blend. Um, yeah, and you know you can the lyrics work in in the format of the song, but if you kind of read them out, it also reads as as sort of a, a letter, an open letter. About the film clip, um, so that was just filmed in Sydney. I mean, um, we had a few different ideas happening uh, from the beginning, and and the original idea was more of a theatrical sort of drama based concepts and and had you know quite a few different parts and uh prop you know um, props and, and different stuff like that happening and uh i don't know in the end it just sort of seemed a bit too overwhelming uh to carry out uh based on a few different factors so um we just thought you know screw it let's just kind of just book a room book a space and let's just kind of do our thing and just play how we would we would play live and and just sort of try and convey the energy that that we have as a band and so that's what we did and we just kind of on Gumtree we found a, sort of a, a white room space and it was it was pretty cheap and um, and then really last minute we were able to get James O'Connor to come and film it who's also uh, works uh, with from the pit that, that's his sort of pseudonym and um yeah he does a lot of live band filming and he's filmed us a couple of times and yeah he just came in and you know bought a bunch of gear and um we just did a shitload of takes and got super sweaty super quick and poor Al our drummer he had to do the most takes of all and uh I think it took quite a toll on the poor fella but um, yeah, and, I, and and then just the editing, I just kind of chopped it all up together and tried to get put, you know, put a lot of energy in there and, um, you know, just follow the the sort of the, the feel of the song in that regard. And yeah, I felt, I felt like it came out really good. Memorable performances, I, I think we always, seem to come back to a performance that we did at Big Sound a couple of years ago. Um, we played at Rick's Bar, and if you're sort of familiar with Rick's Bar, it's very tiny, and it was sort of jam-packed with, with people, which is always good, and um, it just made for like a, a very intense vibe, and it was super hot in there, and I felt compelled to remove my pants uh, instinctively. And so, yeah, I, I kind of ended up playing the majority of the, the show in my Marvel-themed underwear. Um, and, you know, people accepted it, and I'm, I'm grateful to them for that. 
but no, it seemed to be a bit of a highlight for us at the time and certainly felt like, you know, it was something special. And, um, yeah, that's probably, that's probably a standout one. Well, here goes nothing. I've never been too good with words. I'll make it short and sweet. Goes out to who it may concern. I've had a good time. How good things I miss the ones I love I miss all of them